On the road headed to my GameStop. It is currently 1037. So I decided to not be at uh, well, my GameStop is in a mall and they closed the mall down at nine o'clock and they were going to reopen it at 10. You could get your number and stand in line and uh, all that wonderful stuff. But I thought I really don't want to stand in line for a couple hours. So uh, I'm picking up a friend of mine here in a little bit. I've got about a 15, 20 minute drive. Uh, I'm not gonna do like I did the last time where I kind of talked the whole way in, uh, but I just kind of wanted to catch this uh, moment here uh, on the YouTube channel of going in and picking up the uh, final game in the Rocksteady trilogy for the Arkham series, Batman Arkham Knight. Um, if you watch the uh, Rogue Show uh, special, with Anthony and Tim and myself, we talked about, as I go around a curve here, <laughs> uh, we talked about, you know, the expectation that we had for the game and uh, that it's, you know, hard to believe it's been uh, two years almost uh, that we've been waiting for this game. And uh, something I did want to say here, um, kind of up front with, uh, you know, this day and age where everything is instantaneous, we want all of our stuff right now. Uh, sometimes I think there is something uh, to be said for uh, the journey. Um, I think you appreciate things a little bit more, kind of having to wait uh, for things and not be spoiled. And uh, we live in a day and age where people are like, so what happens at the end of the movie? It's like, go to the movie, find out, don't be spoiled. Um, I used to do that for a lot of movies and a lot of books and video games. I would just, you know, look at every video that I could find or search websites and then I'd go sit in the movie and I would go oh yeah well this thing happens and then this thing happens or I'd play the game and go yep yeah, we should be right here at this point there's there's none of that anticipation there's none of that excitement that's like oh my gosh I didn't see that coming or wow that's such an amazing thing uh, so I think something that goes along with that and this is uh, something that Captain Logan had said on Geekvolution that uh, <coughs> excuse me that along with the anticipation and, and the waiting game that we go through for books, movies, video games, comics, whatever that thing is that you're waiting for, the Super Bowl, if that's, if that's your kind of thing too, is how many, f this will be, I'm only going to get one first time playing the game, that very first experience, uh, you know, once once I crack the case of that game open and I put it in the PlayStation, I'm forging down a road of, this is the only time I'm going to have that first experience with the game. Yes, I'll be able to replay the game over till, you know, Kingdom Come, but I'm not gonna get that first time. So in the anticipation of waiting for this game, I'm gonna take a moment, like if you've seen Captain Logan's video where he was getting ready to read Batman uh, Earth One Volume Two, he was just kind of talking about, you know, kind of just holding on to that book for just another second or so and just kind of relishing in those first moments. So don't be so uh, excited that you just start ripping through stuff. Just take that extra 30 seconds and go, <sighs> it, it may sound corny, but once you start playing it, you'll obviously never be able to go back and relive that moment again. So if you're hanging out with your buddies tonight or a bunch of you are driving in the car, going to your local GameStop or wherever it is that you're picking it up, kind of know that it, it, this is something cool, something special. If you're a Batman fan, if you're not, it's like, Rob, it's just a video game, blah, blah, blah. I get that. But I think those of us that get it, that we're the comic book fans, we're the movie fans, we we know what this means to us. I think if you just take that little brief pause, um, it'll make everything worthwhile. So I'm gonna let this thing go here. I've had the light from the camera in front of me and uh, it's kind of dark out here. So I'm sure the cars beside me are like, uh, why is there a light shining in the driver's face? So um, I think I'm gonna take the camera in with me to GameStop and maybe I'll get a look at the line there. I don't know if I'll 
interview anybody, maybe that'll seem kind of weird, but uh, so anyway, I'll probably have a, I'm gonna do an unboxing, which you're probably looking at the video, there's gonna be an unboxing. I'm getting the statue collector's edition. I don't know kind of what's in store in the collector's edition. I don't wanna be spoiled with anything, so I'll kinda sip through it. I may even have my wife shoot the uh, footage and kind of go through stuff, and she may even edit the video uh, just in case there's some spoilerish stuff there. So, anyway, I'm shutting the camera off here, and uh, when we come back up, I'll either probably have the game, maybe I'll have a few words to say on the way home, or I'll just wait till I get home. So, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you guys in just a few seconds. No, 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 Rob's Rogues! <laughs> yeah. Just picked up uh, the game. There she is in the passenger seat. Got to put the seat belt on it, getting ready to head home. Um, kind of downtown here and a cop car just went by, so I think uh, I'll turn this bad boy off real quick and maybe I'll talk to you for a little bit on the rest of the way home. So cool to get it. I believe I was 15th in line, so not too bad. So we'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Okay, uh, driving home here to put a little bit of gas in the car, uh, or the van rather, uh, to head home. I had to drop my buddy off. Uh, we were just kind of talking about uh, what we kind of hope the game is like and everything. Um, I'm not going to rattle on too much longer here as I'm trying to go down some side side streets. We have some road closures here in town, which is kind of a pain in the arse. So anyway, um, when I get home, I'm obviously going to be putting the game in and going to play. Um, I do have the collector's edition, which uh, you saw there. I'm going to end up doing an unboxing. It's going to appear right after this. Uh, with it being midnight, I thought about doing kind of like a reaction video when I play it for the first time, but my wife is actually has to go to work tomorrow, since I don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> so just because of that, you know, having the TV up loud and all that stuff, I'll have the headphones on. So I'm not going to do a reaction video, but I'm imagining it's going to be something like this. You know, something like that, probably. Um, but I will do the unboxing video for you guys. It'll appear probably right after this little uh, segment. Um, but uh, I'm going to put the game in and get it all loaded. Um, I guess there is a three gigabyte um, uh, patch right off the bat. So um, I would like to be able to be playing it. It is uh, 1222. It's going to take me about 20 minutes to drive home. So um, I may end up <laughs> half falling asleep while this thing loads. I guess it's got a, a, a decent load time. It probably won't be you know anything huge but uh, I have worked all day so uh, the next thing you'll see here is the unboxing uh, portion of the uh, review here which is I believe is what you are tuning in for rather than me just blathering as I'm driving so uh, without further ado we will get into the unboxing as I go over railroad track okay that sucked uh, holding onto a stupid camera. So anyway, stop talking Rob. Let's get into the unboxing and we will take a look at the Batman Arkham Knight uh, PlayStation 4 uh, GameStop exclusive with the Red Hood uh, content of the now only collector's edition since uh, they canceled the uh, Batmobile version. So yay me that I decided to uh, get the Batman statue instead. So we'll see you in just a second. All right, we're taking a look at the unboxing here of the PlayStation 4 Limited Edition Batman Arkham Knight uh, Collector's Edition. Like I said, now this is the only version of the Collector's Edition since they canceled uh, the Batmobile. Um, I am very far away from my review table as I can't get the camera back out far enough. So hopefully uh, everything is in frame here. I can see on my viewfinder. Um, I'm going to kind of go through this. It's probably going to seem a little fast here. I'm going to have to kind of be up front in the camera. And I imagine I'm probably going to do a voiceover <laughs> at some point because I'll just be too far away from the camera uh, to really um, be able to do that justice. I want to show you the size of this. For reference, taking a little tip from Stu there, there is a pop can uh, in uh, reference to this box. So I imagine the Batman statue is probably almost as tall as this. Um, uh, for you guys, it won't matter because this is going to be one video that I'm going to edit together. Uh, what I'm going to do, there'll be a cut here. Uh, once I get the outer sleeve off, I'm actually going to get into the game so I can get it back downstairs and get it into my PlayStation so I can start the loading process. And then while it's loading, I'll do the rest of the uh, review of the box or maybe I'll wait till tomorrow. I don't know. I'm just excited to be able to finally have this. 
So um, let's do this. I will try to not be in the way of everything. Hopefully you can see all of this and we'll uh, find out here. We'll kind of do this together. So there's the side of the box. The front of the box says uh, be the Batman. And then this tells you what is inside of it. We have the art book, uh, the 12 inch statue, the new 52 skin pack, comic book, steel book, and the Harley Quinn story pack. A um, little story about this, since this was the uh, premium edition or the uh, collector's edition, the Red Hood story pack is not in here. It came on a receipt, a uh, long story short. Uh, their servers went down shortly after they were printing the receipts for the Red Hood code, and I was the only one in line that is able to have my Red Hood code right now at this very minute. So uh, yay for me. They said everybody else in line is going to get theirs uh, tomorrow morning once the GameStop servers are back up. So let me know in the comments if you have any problem from GameStop getting your Red Hood code. Um, there's the backs, uh, product information, um, yada yada, all that type of stuff. So um, very cool. I'm very, very excited about this. So let's get this top. So I did a cut right here. There is uh, some information on the either side. I don't know if it's spoilerish if somebody didn't want to see it or know it um, I kind of assumed uh, what it was probably gonna say but just for the sake of uh, being cool I decided to turn the box sideways so hopefully uh, my uh, stupid body is not in frame okay, here. pardon here uh, for this because the box is so tall and so big I'm having to go handheld here um, I had to kind of stop the camera to get this top of the box open um, like I said I'm really only wanting there's a picture of a statue and it says warning fragile remove carefully um, yada yada just letting you know that, that what's in here is uh, fragile so what I'm really after right now is the game itself so this is what I'm gonna do I'm going to go downstairs put this in so here it is like I said take a moment it's finally here um, almost a two-year wait, or maybe it's like right about at two years we've been waiting for this game so so very excited uh, about this um, I will, I'll do a, an inside look at this. I kind of want to get this started right now. So rather than tear open the cellophane, I'll show you what's inside of this in a little bit, and we'll get inside the collector's edition. Um, I'll probably put up a disclaimer in case the art book and different things could show some spoiler stuff. I'm not sure how I'm going to film that yet because I don't want to be spoiled myself. So more on the collector's edition once I have a better idea of kind of how I'm going to go about doing this. So uh, we will see you in just a little bit. Uh, but for me, I'm going to get downstairs and load this sucker and start playing. All right. I, I was kind of curious to know where they were going to put all the skin packs and everything. They are actually inside of here. I didn't know if the new 52 skin pack and uh, the PlayStation exclusive skin pack was going to be inside the actual game or if it was going to be packed in. But it is, in fact, in here. You can see the disc there itself. So very cool. Um, I'll get these out of here. Obviously, I won't show you the back of these, so I don't want you taking my codes. If I can get these out of here. I love the artwork on these. So here we are. We have the PlayStation exclusive skin pack. There's the 66 Batmobile in the Dark Knight. Uh, Dark Knight, excuse me. In the <laughs> Arkham Knight uh, Batmobile, kind of the scheme for it. You can kind of see the uh, 66 Bat man logo there uh 66 batman the batman 3000 there you can see very cool the new 52 skin pack with dick grayson robin uh costume which is really cool uh batman new 52 and dick grayson nightwing so very cool there is the scarecrow nightmare missions excellent 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 and of course the holly holly harley quinn story pack and then the uh, normal you know guide that you get which is not really a guide so now i'm going to go downstairs and load this puppy up with all of my dlcs and then my gamestop receipt that has my red hood code in it i would have liked to have seen the you know red hood have the artwork because i kind of like you know just having these so anyway we'll get to the rest of the collector's edition here when we come back from the break but for me it's game time so so excited i'll see you guys on the flip side all right i've got the game paused it's now the next day um, i'll go into it uh, long story short uh, there was about four hours worth of upload so i didn't play any of it uh, during the last break so it's now the 23rd in the next day 
Like I said, I've played about eight or so hours of it already. So a little bit of a break here, and uh, we will get into the rest of the collector's edition. Um, I'm going to try and keep this spoiler-free as much as I can, so there may be cuts uh, coming in and out. If you want to see what the front of the box, the front and back of the box are the same, but it says the same thing on both sides. This is actually the side of it here. If you want to see that, stay till after the credits, and you can see what it says. It's You may already know what it says, or you may not, or if you don't want to know, all the spoilerish type stuff will be after the credits, or if it's things that I think will be spoilerish. So again, I've got the camera backed out way far away, as this box is so big. So uh, again, my stupid backside may be in the frame here, and I may have to run into a voiceover. And so we'll we'll see. But here we go. Okay, I see the book. I'm probably gonna start losing stuff. So there's my steel case. Um, the comic book, the art book, everything's all on one side. All right, so let's move that out of the way. All right, so there is that. So here is the zero issue of the comic book, kind of bent in here, not knowing really where uh, things were. Um, yeah, I'm really not going to go too much uh, into this. I may have a more in-depth look if you want to see everything. I believe this is actually, it says the zero issue. So I don't know if it's part of the comic series that's out right at the moment, um, or if it's a mini-series. And it says it's the beginning. So um, it does say issue zero. Again, I'm repeating myself here. So issue one is out. I kind of thought we already had issue zero, so this must actually be the first official issue. Then we have the cool steel book to steel case for the game. Again, I'll get a better shot at these once I can get back to the camera at a reasonable rate. And we have the art book. Again, I apologize for this right now. So now the uh, statue. Oh wow, that's that's great. Oh wow. So so very cool. Now it's all uh monochrome here. It's not painted. It's made to look like um a statue that would be in the middle of Gotham City. So very much all gray, with the exception of a little bit of black that you can see. There's some surprising uh, weight to the statue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera real quick, real quick, real quick, and I'm going to get things uh, back down to a normal view so you can kind of see some things. And there is the statue. Now, uh, right below, right here, is more of the same that was on the side of the box. And again, I will show the plate at the bottom of this if anybody wants to see it. I don't know if it's spoilerish or if it's a red herring that we're led to believe whatever this plate says. So all, I'll, all I want to ask is for anybody that is uh, curious about this, don't put it in the comments for anybody else. If you happen to know, let other people find out. Or like I said, if you watch the video all the way through past the credits, um, I will show you what those things actually say. So um, I'm going to kind of go handheld here real quick so we can get a better look at the statue, which this is really, really cool. So uh, bear with me just a second as I detach the camera. So here we go. Here is the statue in all of its glory. Just a really, really great piece. Um, just done very, very well. I'll try to stay away from the bottom of the statue. Love the detail. It's a, a harder plastic. Um, it almost feels like parts of the uh, city are kind of removable, possibly. And I don't know if there's anything inside of the statue at all. Kind of like the Arkham Origins statue. I really haven't kind of played with it. If you open up the back of the Arkham Origins statue with the Joker, uh, you got a black mask uh, head that you could put on there to kind of let you know 
Like, wah, 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 the Joker is the black mask in the game. Just very, very cool. I will uh, rotate this All here All right, really something quick. I just found out. Apparently, this thing lights up. So if I can zoom down in here, you can see the channel in here right there. It looks like there's a light source. I grab the back of this building, and the building comes off to reveal a switch. And I thought, what the heck is that switch for? So I was kind of pushing on it, didn't do anything. So there must be lights that kind of come up from underneath this. And I looked, I'm going to try and do this so I don't show the bot base of the statue real quick. There's a battery compartment right there that I didn't notice. So um, I may wait till the evening to do this back half of this review. So apparently this sucker lights up, which would have been really cool for me to figure out last night. And I like how that's kind of hidden in there underneath that building. So I'm sure there's an uh, instruction somewhere, but I did not see it. So um, here is the steel case. Let's slide this guy off to the side. There is the steel case. Really cool. And there's the inside to put the game and everything in. We have the comic. And then uh, the other big thing that I wanted was the art book. So this is something I'm uh, kind of cautiously going through. I don't want any of it kind of uh, ruined for me. So I think it's just art. I don't think they would show, hey, here's the end of it. So I imagine, again, this is just all the art that's in there, character designs. I don't think they're going to show much. But these things are always really cool. I know I'm going through fast, but uh, maybe if somebody does want to see some of this a little bit more, I would really kind of, this is really nice. Uh, there's a book that Rocksteady is putting out. Here's all of the ads that you see in the game. Protocol 10, not on my watch. Very cool. Keystone, Metropolis. So all the characters. There's a nice shot of the Scarecrow. Harley Quinn. Catwoman, Poison Ivy, Two-Face, The Penguin, Riddler, Firefly, Azrael, Commissioner Gordon, Oracle, Barbara Gordon, Nightwing and Robin, sweet. Very, very cool. That's the Mattel picture that they were using for the artwork. So it wasn't a Mattel rendering. It was actually from Rocks today. So that's pretty cool. There's the Arkham Knight, whoever you may be. Although I do have my guesses. Arkham Tech, the tanks. So yeah, this appears to be spoiler free. So I am digging this quite a bit. There's the Batmobile, the prototype Batmobile that you can get from Walmart, which I do not have. The Batwing, which I've seen uh, twice in the game, and apparently it could pick up the Batmobile. Haven't got to that stage yet. Very cool book. Very, very cool. And uh, this is how the game starts from the trailer. This is, this is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. So I don't know if it's a red herring. It's the very first thing you hear in the game. And it's uh, one of the first things we heard in the trailer. Hopefully I didn't get a shot of that. So what I'm going to do is head back downstairs. You've seen uh, my skin pack already. So I made there to do some is everything that here. I got with the collector's edition. You see part of my backdrop. So... It's time to go play the game. It's really hot up in my review room, and uh, once it gets darker tonight, I will turn this bad boy on, and I imagine I'll probably have to put batteries in it, I would assume. So I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, it's nice and dark here, so uh, I'm going to uh, get the statue going here if I can find the little piece. 
and all right you may not be able to tell totally I'm gonna go hands held here but this is pretty pretty cool so this is kind of what it looks like in the dark here I'll uh, put on a couple extra lights but you can see where it uh, lights up from so this video is probably not doing it justice at all it's not even really wanting to focus very well so I'll take some uh, better pictures of it but uh, <laughs> yeah I can't even get it to focus because I'm in very low light well there we go there you can see a little bit more there so really pretty cool it looks a little funny here on uh, video like I said but uh, you could still make out some of the lights so cool all right so that's gonna wrap it up here if you want to see uh, what the box said <clears throat> excuse me what the statue says just stay after for the uh, credits and you can see that Okay, here's some of the uh, spoiler section. Here's the front of the collector's edition box once you get the outer sleeve off. And it says MMXV, you know, the year, uh, from a grateful city in memory of Gotham Knight. And the statue says the very exact same thing on the plate. So uh, there you go. Take it for uh, what you will. And again, this is a kind of a spoilerish. So there you are.